to you, Gretch. So I'm here, it is nearly midnight on a Sunday, and I've just finished recording the live class, the monthly live class that we do on the last Sunday of every month. And I wanted to share the resources section with you because I thought that it might be useful to a wider audience. So I'm just gonna share my screen here and you can see what we've been doing. So make me a bit smaller there. So the class that I've just taught is Seasons and Sacred Cycles. And if you're interested in the class, you can find that on the irishpaganschool.com, absolutely. But what I wanted to do was walk you through the resources section, ritual there. So I'm going to look at the resources and you can see what we recommend. So if you're interested in Irish pagan seasons and cycles and celebrating within the Irish folklore, traditions and you know, myth and magic that we have here in Ireland, then these are some good resources that you can get your hands on fairly easily for the most part. So there is a translation by Kuno Mayer and you will find this on various different sources. I've put a link here to archive.org and there is a PDF up there. I think that there's a version up on UCC, the University College Cork as well. So it's the Hibernica Minora, and the subtitle is Being a Fragment of an Old Irish Treatise on the Psalter. And we have quoted from this through the class, which is why I added it in here. And there's some, some really nice kind of references to how the festivals were named and how they were celebrated in Ireland. So do go and have a look at that. It should be available just free, as I said, on a PDF, and you can dig through that for references to the fire festivals, particularly, which would be Imolg, uh, Bialtana, um, Lunasa, and Samhain. Okay. So the next resource that I would recommend that you read is a paper which is also available free online. It's academia.edu and Billy McFlynn uh, wrote this in 2015 and Billy is an Irish archaeologist and historian I believe. So he wrote a paper called Sacrificial Magic and the Twofold Division of the Irish Ritual Year and it is absolutely fascinating and you will get a lot out of that for both your spiritual and your magical practice um, within the Irish traditions. So do go and have a look at that and give Billy some love while you're there. He's a really fucking top, top guy. So the next recommended reading book uh, that I would have you go to is, there's Amazon links on the screen here, uh, you can see them, and they are affiliate links to amazon.com. Obviously you can get these books in other places, you don't have to go to Amazon, but if you do click through on the Amazon links, um, I'll put them in the comments below as well, you will, um, I'll get a few cents for it um, so you can support my work and the YouTube videos that we do here by clicking through and doing your Amazon shop in that way, if you're shopping on Amazon anyway. So Cattle Lords and Clansmen is the book that I would recommend here, The Social Structure of Early Ireland, and it's by Nerese T. Patterson. And it's kind of a weighty one and it's really worth getting. Um, I mean, the title kind of gives you an overview of what's going to be happening in the book. Um, it is slightly academic and, you know, you do kind of, it requires a little bit of concentration in places, but um, but it's definitely worth having and not just for the seasons and cycles, but for the entire social structure. So definitely a fantastic resource to have on the shelves. Um, then there is The Year in Ireland by Kevin Danaher, who is an Irish folklorist and author. And this one was written in 1972. It is a little bit difficult to get a hold of. The Amazon link here um, goes through to secondhand copies, which run to the expensive side of things. So do have a look around. Um, there might be some copies on ABE Books or various other secondhand places that you would get uh, your usual pre-loved book 
sales going. So anything by Kevin Danaher actually really is going to be worth a look. Um, he's a very, very good folklorist uh, looking at the Irish traditions, the native Irish traditions. So if you can't get this particular book, um, there's going to be useful material in any of his books really. But if you can get your hands on a copy of this, definitely do. It's 100% worth having. So next up is Irish Popular Superstitions, which was written in 1852 by William Robert Wilde, who was Oscar Wilde's daddy, for anybody who's following along at home. He is a native of Castle Ree, County Roscommon, which is just down the road from Rathcrohan, or Rathcrohan, which is the home of the Morrigan and Queen Maeve and the Tombow Cúlnia. So he's coming from an area that is absolutely steeped in mythology and folklore and very much grew up with a, a grow for that, a love for that that um, as well as a, uh, a scientific mind um, he was also an eye surgeon and one of his earliest books was um, he was uh, I think he was the first person to perform eye surgery in Europe maybe um, but he, he definitely was a fascinating character his his wife uh, Lady Sperenza Wilde also wrote a lot on Irish folklore and uh, mythology so look up her stuff too and of course, Oscar Wilde is one of our most famous Irish authors. So very creative and talented family. But anyway, the reason I'm recommending this one is because uh, he talks about, um, and again, it's quoted in the class that we get, that we have there. Um, there he talks about Bealtaine traditions and uh, the bleeding of cattle on um, on the the sites on the forts and the hilltops around Bealtaine, and we do go into a lot of detail about that in the class. But um, you can get reprints of his book Irish Popular Superstitions uh, again on Amazon, and there's a link there. And then uh, Myth, Legend and Romance, an Encyclopedia of Irish Folk Tradition by Dahio Hogan. And I will put a link above to another um, review that I did, a review video of Dahio Hogan's work. He is an Irish professor. Uh, well, he was. He died, sadly, a couple of years ago. So rest in peace. And um, this book, if you, if you don't get any other book um, on, if you're interested in Irish paganism and you don't get any other book that I ever recommend to you, um, get this one, uh, the encyclopedia. Um, I have one of the original copies, uh, which has unfortunately lost its dust jacket, but so it's just a big, heavy gray, um, probably can't see it there, but uh, myth, legend and romance is on the spine. Um, there is a newer reprint a second edition version which is a uh, smaller more compact and has a navy blue cover with like a castle on the front i think um, so do get a copy of that if you can get your hands on it um, I'm, i think the second edition is still in print i'm not 100 percent sure on that but if it's out of print it's only recently out of print so um, you should still be able to pick up loads of copies secondhand and fairly cheap um, but dahio hogan and again anything by dahio hogan is going to be a valuable addition to your shelf. Um, he really did some amazing work and fantastic, fantastic books. And then if you are interested in further connection options, the um, irishpaganschool.com hosts this uh, course that these resources are recommended from. Um, there is a video as well I will link above to um, Irish pagan holidays and pronunciations. So you can have a look at that as well. Uh, there's a blog post that goes with it. So do have a look there. And um, again, there's a link on the screen. And my blog generally is at lauraobrien.ie forward slash blog. And my website obviously is lauraobrien.ie. I have a mailing list where you get weekly resources. So all free. So do sign up and subscribe to the YouTube channel down below and hit your bell so they get notifications when the uh, new videos come up and there will be more videos through 2019 I did a 30-day content challenge in November and there was uh, it was mostly YouTube videos it was going to be a mix between blog and YouTube and some blog posts but mostly YouTube videos so I kind of got a taste for it so I'm going to do more YouTube videos definitely through 
2019. Um, I'm going to look at Folklore Fridays as well. So keep an eye out for that. So do subscribe and hit the bell. And if you're interested in supporting my work, you can get some fantastic monthly rewards on Patreon. So go to patreon.com forward slash Laura O'Brien and uh, link there. Links to all of this will be below as well. So um, do have a look in the comments and leave me a comment if you have any of these books. If you want any of these books, I would love to hear from you. And if you've read any of the papers or if you have anything to contribute to the community about seasons and sacred cycles in Ireland. So slong a fall and uh, have a good one.